All right, so today we're going to go through the steps in terms of how to work on this assignment called Desmos Slope Intercept Activity. So the first thing I'm going to do is on my period six, I'm going to click on this one. As I select it, I'll select this link. <clears throat> And as I select the link, I'm just going to join. When I join, I'm going to sign in with Google. And what that means to me is I'm going to use my LAUSD account. Since you already have an account, this should work for you the same way. Once I'm there, I'm going to go to my slope interview intercept form review, period six. So I'm going to start there. And it has my name. Press go. And in here, initially, it's just going to be like a very quick check in. So it's going to ask you how you're feeling today. And so you can hopefully feeling good. Hopefully that's feeling so bad. And you give me your quick input. Um, after that, I press next. Continue with checking in. Anything additional you want to share with me? And then here is where we started some basic notes. So in here, what I want to show you is that I have different components that allow me to, um, how should I say it? They allow me to figure out the equation or they allow me to work on the grid. So a couple of basic things. This is a pencil. This is a line, text equations, eraser. Um, if I use this, I can put points, plot points throughout. I'm going to say that I know that I have a certain equation. So I'm going to just fill in the numbers. I'm going to say that that's zero. I'll say that's one, that's two, three, and four. Now, if we had been doing this in class, I would have only given you certain numbers. But in here, that takes care of all of it. I'll say that on this side, I have the numbers of negative 3, uh, 0, 3, 6, and 9. Of course, I have that. Now, once I have this information, what I can do is I can start to look at my numbers and make certain decisions. For example, I know this side is counting by 3, so I'll simply say that my rise is equal to 3. On this side, it's counting by ones, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is going to be equal to 1. And over here, let's not get tricked by this. Starting with 0, I happen to know that this is the beginning point. So I'll say that this is equal to B. So now I have some very basic information. All right. Now, what I have here is I have enough information to start plotting points. So what I do is X and Y. So 0, negative 3 means 0, down 3. Put a dot there. 1, 0 means over 1. Put a dot there. 2, 3 means 2, 1, 2, 3. Put a dot there. And I can start to see that there's a pattern there. And the pattern is that it goes up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1, which matches the 3 and 1 that I have here. Now, what I like to do is I like to keep the pattern going. So I keep trying to put it as best as I can. And I put it pretty much spread out. Now, once I have this, I will go ahead, click, and drag so that I make my line. Here's my line. Might be a little bit off. If I ever feel that I don't like what I see, I can always click here, erase, and I can erase parts of it. Okay. Now, because of everything that I have here, I happen to know that my equation is y equals 3 over 1. And I have to move it over. x um, minus 3. This becomes my equation. So at this point in time, I submit and I explain. Now, what I mean by that is, how do I know that that's the rule? So I might say something that um, I know this is the rule because 
the rise and run is equal to three over one and b is equal to negative three that might be my my reasoning for it okay so once i have that i go ahead and submit it i have some kind of answer i press next now in class this would have been another example okay so for example on this one i would have given them an equation here i would have given them the equation and i would have said something like y is equal to negative one over two um x and i would have said plus four something like that now here i would still submit it there's nothing to explain here but what i asked the class is that if i have this information do I have enough to fill out my T-chart and to graph? So, for example, the 4, I know that's my beginning point. So, I'm just going to purposely say that this is equal to B here. If that's the case. What that really means is that this is 4. But this can only be 4 if it's right next to 0. So, the 4 is now there. Now, the top number is rise. And if you remember, one of the things we talked about in class last time is that if this is a negative, I use it on the top. So I'm going to say my rise is negative 1. And the run is going to be 2. What does that really mean? That means that as I go from one number to the next, I have to go ahead and just count down by 1. So that means this is 3, 2, 1, 0. Since this one is counting by 2, then that means that this is 2, 4, 6, and 8. Once I have these dots, I'm sorry, once I have these coordinates, I can start, go from the pencil to this, and I can start plotting the points. So that is there. Then I have 2, 3. That makes it there. Then I have 4, 2. That makes it there. And I start to see a pattern. So down, over, down, over. So let's keep that pattern going. And I can squeeze it in probably all the way there. I can go backwards just if I want. And even numbers that I couldn't see originally will start to show up for me. Mostly because this will allow me to create my line. And that's it. Okay, so for you, as you're working on this, you're going to move on to slide number five. So slide number five, let me see. Actually, don't worry about this one. Skip to number six. And what you'll notice is that I already have this highlighted. That's kind of like my highlighted line. I have missing numbers. Fill in the missing numbers. Uh, give me the equation. I have the coordinates. I have a line. Fill in the T-chart. Give me the equation. And in this one, I give you this information. Give me the equation and fill out the teacher after you graph everything. Once you're done with all that, the last few slides is a reflection. What do you think? Did it make sense? Okay. How confident do you feel? And that's it. I hope this made sense to you. And uh, if anything, you can always send me a message. All right.